Up. Now the sewers are going to back up regardless. What happens with sewer lines, these are gravity sewer lines which are the most common form. When they become submerged in water, uh, you have two points of issue. Older pipes can have cracks and holes in them so we get what is called I and I infill and infiltration. And, and then the actual manholes themselves, they're not, they're not watertight and water gets in through those manholes. And as all that storm water gets into that sewer pipe, it overwhelms uh, the pipe and you build up pressure and that's when you see, you know, sewer coming, spewing up out of a manhole. Uh, that also creates additional capacity, not capacity, but additional fluid flowing through the sewer line into our wastewater treatment plant and can overtake the capacity of that plant. Um, while the Withlacoochee plant was overtaken, our Mud Creek plant, which is on the east side of the city, um, and was recently expanded to a 22 million gallon capacity system, it, its peak only came in around 15, 16 million gallons of stormwater coming through that plant, so it at all times was able to do its job. Whereas the Withlacoochee plant, we jumped, we went off the scale on it. You know, when we had chlorinator tanks submerged and tertiary uh, uh, you know, equalization basins submerged in river water, I mean, they're, they're, just slipped, they're just absolutely not doing any of yeah. their job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so some of this 